Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the biggest Class C motorhome on the market today. This is the 2021 Nexus Viper model 29V with three slide outs. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Viper and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video again my name is matt from matt's rv reviews it's world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to rvs and again today i'm super excited to be taking a look at the super popular nexus's number one selling motorhome the viper 29v but before i begin i would like to say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going good so this is the biggest class c on the market yes three slide outs okay i'm excited to see this and obviously it's I mean, not I've counting it. super c's but right. regular class now now check it out now it's funny because uh the people at nexus they title this a b plus because there's no pro bunk over the cab oh, but yeah. uh it's still a class c oh yeah because it, it doesn't have a lot of overhang on the side right right but it's a cutaway chassis model is 29 v but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 30 feet eight inches this is the nexus viper it's their best selling product and i love it does come standard with full body paint it's not an option on this motorhome you want this motorhome you're getting luxury it is powered on the e450 chassis and because this is the 2021 it does have the new 7.3 liter godzilla engine 350 horsepower 468 foot pounds of torque and it's a 7.3 liter v8 right here we do have side cameras integrated in the left side right side and reverse and then check out these tires and drain the hand cooks i love those they are the uh 225-75 r16 those are the dynapros dynapros i love those Jeez, that's pretty bad i'm getting to know tires yes coming down the side here we do have these nice extended mirrors on both sides if you have running boards to get in and out of the rv and then coming down the side, now look at this, it's a little unique because right here's the slide out. You got your propane tank right there. And Andrea, specs and everything, bing, right there. So everybody who's watching on TV can take a look. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Okay. And then right here, we got a little bit of storage. Okay. And then right here we got a little bit more storage okay very nice interesting matt that the awning is over here yes yes mid door and the awning is right here let's take a look at it when it's all the way out has it always been there yes oh why don't i remember that now i'll try it uh, while the awning's coming out um uh, i do want to let everybody know uh, because this is the next They do use Asdale for their sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And they use a high strength, low alloy steel case construction, which is 72% stronger than aluminum, which means- 72% safer. I love it. And also something else that Nexus does, they'll use Asdale on the inside of it, so you won't get that from out of height smell. Right over here. We got a little bit more storage right there. Okay, got electrical outlet there. Yes, ma'am. And a little bit more storage right there. Very nice. Oh, okay, that goes through. Yes. Coming around the back, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 7,500 pound hitch. You can tow 7,500 pounds, but I'm saying you're good at 5,000 pounds. Any more than 5,000 pounds, you need to check to see how much weight you're loading up in the motorhome. Frameless window in the back and a backup camera right there. Also, there is a one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Look at that ladder. Here we go now. Hold on. Here we go. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. We do have one AC unit. It is a 30-amp motorhome. Right there's your shower domes and everything. And then right there's your wine guard, digital antenna. Here we go now. Hold on. This 
slowly. Okay, last step now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show him what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Great, finishing up. Here's your outdoor connection, outdoor shower, tank fill, everything's right there. Right there's your 30 amp power cord, a little bit more storage. Surge protector, surge mm -hmm. converter. Oh, there's the um, the uh, stabilizing jacks right ah, there. Ah, yes, it does come with the stabilizing jacks. I almost forgot to Outdoor mention. Outdoor shower, you said that right? Yep. Okay. And then here's where you dump your black and gray tanks, right there. Very nice, I like how that's enclosed. Right here's your fuel fill up. Water heater right there. I like how they continued the paint. That's where your battery goes. And then here we have some storage. Here we have some storage. And then right here, Andrea, it's going to be your Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay, cargo can capacity. It might be on the inside of the passenger door, yeah. Okay, oh, no, that's not it. All right, so, slides are in. Okay, so as you can see with the slides in, still plenty of space. I mean, with the, even with it being opposing slides right here. Yeah, for sure. And you can get through here. Lots of room right here. Get to the bathroom and the bed. Is it, you could still use the bed when you're boondocking. Very nice. Oh yeah. Okay. The batteries are low. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have enough. And this is why it's awesome to have a generator. <laughs> Great thinking, Andrea. <laughs> now while the slide outs are going out, we do have a huge favor to ask everyone. <clears throat> Oh goodness. If you could please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. Nexus is one of, if not the biggest fans of the show. So the more comments you guys are leaving, the more Nexus is willing to make changes. And actually, I just got off the phone with Dave Middleton. He called me to wish me a happy birthday today. And thank you everybody who wished me a happy birthday from last video. Oh, and the generator died. Oh no. But it's okay. We got the slides open. The slides are open. And look at this. Look how much room is in here when the, with the boat slides open. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Now we're, we're without lights right now, but the lights will kick back on in a few seconds. Uh, let's get started up here, Andrea, in the new cockpit area. So check this out, okay? We do have your normal 7.3 liter V8 engine, steering wheel and everything but we have this one option with the mobile eye collision mitigation. Cool. It reads speed signs. It lets you know if you're getting in and out of your lane. And then right here is where your cameras go. You have your side cameras there, your left and right blinker in reverse and everything. Nice. Lights just kicked back on. Good. And Andrea, why don't you sit in my co-captain seat? Yes. Oh, okay. Now I need to check the um, cargo carrying capacity. Oh, yes. It's usually on this door. Twenty-six pounds. Okay, well that's not that's a lot. not a lot, but again, it's it's because of how big it is. With these, the slides, these slide outs are yes. heavy and everything. How do you feel, Andrea? Comfortable? Actually, this is pretty comfortable. I mean, it, it feels great. Yeah. You know, I like that. You, you know, there's not a lot of overhang right here. Mm -hmm. I don't feel intimidated. Good, good. And then, since we don't have a bunk over the cab, we do have a nice entertainment center. Okay. Right over here, we got some storage right there. Nice TV, it does swivel, okay? Oh. So you can angle it that way or you can angle it that way. That's good. Yep. And then over here, we have more storage right there. With lights in there too. Absolutely, absolutely. And then in the living room area, Andrea, back up please. 
Look at this space in a Class C motorhome. Yes. Easy to see why this is their number one seller. Definitely. Right over here, we do have storage in the slide out above the dinette. I love that light fixture, Andrea. It's very... Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you have your uh, dinette right here. There is storage underneath the dinette and you can actually lock it up. And then this is a very comfortable dinette cushion. Um, they they kind of designed the cushion like it's uh, like a sofa. And this does drop down to make a bed. Interesting. Yep. Interesting table. Yep. That's new. And then you have this for privacy. And then across, look at this. Theater seats in a Class C motorhome. I love this. I hate how I have to look that way at the TV, but at least the TV does swing out. We do have very nice storage above. And what do they have in here? Shades? They did have shades, right? Yep. Well, yep. guys, if you did not know what the Nexus emblem is right there, tell them what it is, Matt. So that's your manual override in case the slide out gets stuck. Um, you just pop that off and there's a way to get it back in. Then you got cup holders here, remote holders here and everything. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $144,355 MSRP. But Andrea, yes. MSRP doesn't mean anything when we have a killer sale price you ready 35 percent off wow to 93.998 sale price that is a fantastic sale price especially in the market that we're in right now where everything's selling so fast but andrea even as good as the sale price that is i can always save people a little bit of extra money tell everybody how to save a tiny bit more you can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the... the Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I thought that was my cue. And somebody from my team will get you... The best price in America. If you have questions about this motorhome and you want to ask me or Will, click that second tab. We monitor that email and we'll answer you within 24 hours. Or if you just have generalized fan questions, click that third email and Andrea will answer that email. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea? Let's continue the video. Okay, I'm seeing some changes here. Look at this. Now, this looks like a convection microwave, is it? It sure does. It wow. is. Wow, and it you is. know what, Matt? I think that's new. Yes, I yes. think it is as well. I don't think they used to put them in here, so that's great that they did that. Very nice. We got a three burner cooktop. Uh-huh. And we got a leap pad. Lily pad Lily of power. Pad. Sorry. Yes. Oh my goodness. Lily pad of power, the USB. Interesting backsplash here. We yep, got an yep. oven. Oh, did they do that last time? I think so. Okay. Very nice. Oh, maybe they didn't. No, I, I think they had an oven, but not the convection. Right. I think it was or, a small microwave, and yeah, now it's a big one. But Looks that's good. Really nice. Looks good. We got another cabinet up here with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And a big residential style sink. Very nice. With the extension here. Yep. We got three drawers under here. Very nice. Okay, and then we got an electrical outlet there. And over here, we have a residential refrigerator. Is this residential? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay. Very nice. Runs off your inverter. Yeah, really good job. Okay. Man, Andre, you, you, you went through that one faster. Well, there wasn't than, too much. Yeah, small kitchen, yeah, but small again, kitchen. It, it's the price you pay for this big living area. Uh, notice no heat ducts in the floors. Yes. I do like that, okay. Very nice. Then coming over here, um, oops, Andre, you should, probably should have gone in there first. Okay. All right. So look at this shower. All right, radius shower. We all know how I feel about them. I'm not a huge fan of radius showers, but again, it's the price you pay to have a motorhome this big in a Class C. You know, there's going to be 
give and takes. Okay, so see how the door has it, it has a magnet up there, so when you close that, you have your privacy there to take a shower. Yep. And then you have an accordion door right here on the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Andrea. Oh, wow. I don't think I gave it a prime pooping position last time, and I don't think I'm going to give it a prime pooping position this time either. Um, I'm just too short for it. It's too elevated up. But if you're taller, it's prime. Nice medicine very, cabinet right there. Very good size. Got some countertop right there. Yep, nice sink. sink. And some cabinet under there. Yep. And then we've got a fan up there. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to... Actually, Matt, we have like... We're going to have to do the Macarena in here. Do the Macarena? Macarena. Well, no, you, you just show everybody the Okay, background. so I'll start over here. Yeah. So here's the wardrobe. Very nice. Very nice. This is to make the... Uh, um bed and the dinette into a bed yes and then we have two two doors here well actually we have six doors all together very nice and matt look the tv has storage behind it i love that yep and then we got a cabinet here very nice andrea keep going and then the other wardrobe she's going y'all she's going all the way <laughs> and then we have the is this a queen or is it a king queen queen really? yep okay Good size though. Yeah, it, I like the it headboard. Me there for a minute. I like the headboard there. Nice cabinetry, nice reading lights. Yep. Nice windows. Every, I, I, I like it. Ventilation. Yeah. And, Just a great unit. And then we have. Let's see if there's uh, storage under the bed. Yep, I think there is. No? Yeah. No? A little bit. A little bit Not right really. there. Not really. But okay. It's almost better than nothing. Well, Andrea. That's it. That's the review. That's a, that's the best selling Nexus motorhome on the face of the earth. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this motorhome, Andrea, and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? Three things we like about it? Okay. I'm starting first. Okay, I'm go going ahead. first. I love this bedroom. Okay. But come out here. I love all the slide outs in here. This is the biggest and most spacious Class D on the planet square footage wise i love it mm. it's easy to see why this is nexus's number one selling motorhome yes that is one andrea two um what do i like well honestly i like the refrigerator i feel like i must concur upgrade yeah um what it used to be in the past yeah well it's just big and spacious and yeah. nice i love i love how big it is and yeah. nice it is and it's really Really, also, uh, really coming awesome. out with a convection oven. Yeah, the fact that they put that big, yes. you know, it, we'll talk about the uh, kitchen on the dislikes, but for what they did add, it's pretty nice. Yes. So that's two. And then three, I'm going to say I love these theater seats. And I'm going to combo that with the dinette. That's one of the most comfortable dinettes in the industry because they didn't just put a cushion on plywood. They actually made it like a sofa type of dinette. Very, very nice. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. You ready to go first? Sure. Talk to me. Uh, I wish there was some more counter space right the here. The kitchen is very small. It's very small. Yep. Um, I guess they could have put an extension here or something. Something. But there's not enough counter space. So I completely concur. That's my dislike. Yep, yep, for sure. But again, me personally, I, that wouldn't matter for me. I like having the big fridge and the big convection oven, okay? So number two, I just don't like the bathroom. I hate the radius shower. Um, the bathroom's just cramped up in here. But again, that that is something else that I'd be willing to live with because of how nice the living room is. Because you it's know? so spacious. I mean, come on. How much time are we spending in the bathroom? Right. Opposed to how much time are we sleeping or, or being, spending, spending in the living, living room? area. Yep, yes. for sure. 100% worth it. Two. And then number three... Are we on dislikes? Yes. Uh, my dislike is also on the outside. Well, what? Well, tell me your third. Uh, it's the component Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, now, yeah, under here, I would really like for one day for these to be covered. Yeah, they, they should be enclosed for sure. Yeah. I 100% agree with you, Andrea. Yes. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. That's the best-selling Nexus motorhome on the planet. Do me a huge favor. Leave down, uh, if you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. 
or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number or the best thing to do is just to go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. If you're in the market for a Class C motorhome like this, in a few seconds you're gonna see some videos pop up here of some other great units that you should take a look at. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Um, Nexus does read the comments. Yep. So you guys, you know, make sure you comment, leave that feedback because they, they do change things. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you, you next time. time.